And listen, there are some people that may want to contact you for that oh, free consultation. Mm -hmm. We're about to take a commercial break. Give us your contact information of how okay. they can even get the supplements as, as well if they're okay. interested. Um, my cell number is 662-518-1327. That's 662-518-1327. I also have a Facebook page, which is Big Dog Personal Training. You can just go to Facebook, type Big Dog Personal Training, and that's B-I-G-D-A-W-G, Personal Training. And also, you can always reach me by email at B-I-G-D-A-W-G-P-T. I'm sorry, that's Big Dog PT at gmail.com. Big Dog PT at gmail.com. All right, wonderful. You know, God wants our souls to prosper even as we're prospering with the money. So we're going to take a quick commercial break and Pruitt's going to come back and show you some tips of things you can do right in the comfort of your own home for free. How good is that? I love you all. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. Guess what? I'm about to work out with Pruitt Gregory in my heels and all. I'm going to show y'all that you can do it in the comfort of your home. Even right. if you're just getting off of work, you don't have to kick your shoes off. You can do it in your heels and make it happen. You don't believe me? Just watch me. Just watch. All right, Pruitt, take it away. All right. Well, we're going to have Tammy do. She's going to demonstrate a few key exercises for us. You don't have to have a whole bunch of time on you when you do these. What you want to do is stimulate that muscle. Make sure you've got plenty of good food in you, plenty of water. Uh, stimulate it. Probably you want to hit, go through these roughly about three times, maybe 12 reps each, and roughly about three times a week if possible. This should probably keep you in a good tight tone uh, body session. All right, we're gonna First, see. First, what Tana be doing? She'll step, and these bands are very, uh, uh, very inexpensive. You can pick those up pretty much any sporting goods store. You can pick them up at Walmart. They roughly run for a band, probably four or five dollars, maybe if that much. But they're very good and very handy to have. So what Tammy's going to do first is going to demonstrate to us basically what a barbell, I mean, a, a arm curl is. She's going to turn her hands with her palms out and in a very controlled manner, keeping her abs tight, head and chest up so she can breathe. She's going to curl up, squeeze for a second, lower back down. And you want to have what's called a full range of motion, which is all the way up and all the way down. Give us a few of those and show us. All like right, that. here I go. I told yeah. you, I'm in my heels. I'm working it. <laughs> I tell you, and it really feels great. I love it. Stressful days, this is what I do. Okay, Lord, what are you taking me? What am I doing? This That's is right. what I do. Amen. Sometimes you want to talk to yourself. This is a great way this to do it. Don't you do think it. so? This is the time to do it. You won't get looked at all when you do this. Oh, yeah. And this stimulation works her arms, which is the bicep area, front part of the shoulder, now, which is good. Now what Tammy's going to show us now, we're going to go into what's called a shoulder raise. Bring that foot just a little bit forward to keep that one in. Bring the back foot back just a little bit. All right. Good. Turn those hands with the palm down, and she's going to come up and out, which is going to stimulate the shoulders a little bit as well as the upper part of the back. All right. Here them. we go, Pruitt. This is a faith. There you go. This is faith. I'm stretching out. There you go. Expanding. Looking good. Looking good. He said he would enlarge your territory, so here I am. And also what this does, ladies, this helps you as well with keeping the shoulders and the neck in good health. Also, this is where main stress fact factors come in at. Well, if you ever notice when you get a headache, the first thing that happens is the base of your neck, those muscles get tight and tense, the base of the shoulders, those muscles get tight. This is gonna help to strengthen those, which is gonna help to also alleviate a lot of those tension headaches. Wonderful. Good. I now love what it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the rope, the band away from Tammy for just a minute. Thank you. I'll set this over to the side. 
And we're going to go into a basic body squat. A basic body squat is where you take your feet, spread them about shoulders width apart. Make sure on these that you kind of poke your bottom out and back behind you a little bit. And you keep the chest a little forward and the head up. Always make sure you keep your head up so that it's just like a water hose. If you kink it, it kind of slows and inhibits that water flow. But if you keep the head up where that air can move pretty freely throughout the body, your muscles have to have oxygen in order to function properly. And again, roughly about three sets with about 12 repetitions on each one of these. I love it. So this is great through. material. Do this while we're working out. Stop what you're doing. It's Sunday morning. Get up. That's right. Move around. Let's get bit. moving. All right. And we're going to go down. Keep okay. the hands up. Come back up. Moving the arms, too, is very important because you always want to make sure that rather than just moving the legs, you're moving the arms. But if you notice watching Tammy, she's both getting a lower and an upper body workout. I'm praying while I'm doing this because I'm in my heat. <laughs> <laughs> and if you really want to get brave with this, put you a couple of water bottles in your hands while you're doing this or some type of dumbbell or something weighted. Make sure your weight is equal on both sides. You'll really get start to get a real good workout on that. You can tell I'm really working out. Look at my pants. They're shifting. <laughs> so you can actually know when you're working out. That's right. Don't try this in your, in your, in your work clothes. You do need to have physical fit yes. jogging pants. So Pruitt, yes. he's yes. like, you going to work out? I said, I'm a country girl, <laughs> so I can do it and whatever. That's right. This That's has right. been wonderful, Pruitt. Now, let's say if somebody... Um, talking about their eating habits. Mm -hmm. You talked about nibbling. Is that okay to nibble? Yes, most indeed. Um, basically, we call it, you can call it nibbling, you can call it grazing. Uh, a lot of times you're actually told, hey, three square meals a day, uh, don't overdo it, which is actually true. You want to make sure at least you're taking in a good breakfast, a good lunch, and a good dinner. Now, at the same time, in between healthy snacks, if you add those in, you actually will probably be eating anywhere from two and a half to three times or three hours a day which is basically considered grazing nibbling. What that does is stimulates your metabolism, stimulates the digestive system, which in turn stimulates your metabolism, and that puts you in a body fat burning zone. Doing that throughout the day, if you've ever noticed, Tammy, what's the one key thing that you see with a lot of people that are slimmer, more in shape, and more fit? You always see them doing one thing in particular. That's right. Eating on something or turning a bottle of water they all do. the time. They do. Uh, a lot of people in health and fitness industries they rarely go anywhere without a large bottle of water mm -hmm. or somewhere where they have a pack of uh, almonds or some type of healthy snack in between. You can have those throughout the day. Just keep it within bounds. That actually is very good if you do that nibbling throughout the That's day. That's wonderful that you said that. Now, a lot of people um, tell me, I can't drink water. They want a Coca-Cola. And I was like, Coca-Cola is like a liquid candy bar. Mm -hmm. it, it, you're really damaging so much. Yes. And um, I even learned that um, even... Policemen, mm -hmm. they carry, you know, coke actually in their car because mm -hmm. that's what they clean blood from yes. crime scenes. Of. Yes. So if, if the acid that's in the coke is mm -hmm. cleaning the blood, why would you want to put that in your body? So that's the burning sensation you feel when you're drinking that. Mm -hmm. That's the burning sensation in your throat. So literally you're pouring acid down your throat. Oh. Uh, you look at increased sugars. Uh, a can of Coca-Cola is actually three four sugar, uh, both liquid and powdered sugar. Uh, also, not just that, taking those factors out with the sugar and the calories, the carbonation in itself. Our stomachs are just like a balloon. If you take a can of, or, or half a can of soda, put a, take a funnel and pour it in there, it expands that balloon. It uh -huh. does the same thing to our stomachs. Uh -huh. That's why we end up having a lot of distended stomachs. Uh, therefore, if you distend that stomach and stretch it, it's going to take more to fill it. You're going to have that feeling like, hey, I'm not full. Well, in all actuality, you're not. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the key things, taking away... Um, Cokes or taking away maybe half of what you're having, it's okay maybe once a week or someone giving yourself a cheap day to have those, mm -hmm. that's perfectly fine, that's okay. But uh, just taking that away actually helps you with at least 25% of your body fat loss wow. goal that you're trying to reach. And your body is mostly made out of water, so you do need yes. to drink more water. It yes. gives you beautiful skin. I'm telling you, it's essential. Water is not an option. You need to drink more water. And you can actually tell when you're drinking enough water by mm -hmm. the urine. And yes. I know that's a subject we don't want to talk about. Yes. If it's really, really yellow, mmm. Guess what? You need to drink a little bit more water. Yes. Okay. All right. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Pruitt, that's been wonderful. You work me out of my clothes. And, and I tell you, I'm just learning more and more each day. But I told you, we got to be about kingdom business and we need to be in shape and we need to be fit to go to the nations where he's calling us to be. All right, Pruitt, we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right, listen, Woo, 
it's been one of those mornings. We started out in prayer meditation. You've heard the word from uh, Big Dog, Mr. Pruitt Gregory, how you can exercise, what you can do to eat. But right now, I want him to actually flow in his ministry gift of ministering to your hearts, what God is leading him to say to you in regards to you doing what you're supposed to be doing, because this is not your own. It's God's temple, and we need to glorify him even in our body. Um, I definitely want to thank you all. Tammy for having me on today and it's, it's definitely been an honor and a privilege to be here but with that being said yes definitely indeed I always look at and I tell and I talk with my people let them know one of the main things that we have that's a, our biggest blessing uh, besides our children is our health and strength uh, your health and strength is going to allow you to go out and do God's work if you're not in good health or if you're not in that right frame of uh, physical mind which basically leads and comes from internally being healthy, then how can you minister to others? You have to look at that and take that into uh, very seriousness because um, that is the one thing that we have that no one can actually take away. The only person that can take away your health and well-being is you if you really look at it. So make sure you're having healthy, well-balanced meals, plenty of water. Like she said, that water, but the body is 75% water, so you definitely need it to function on a regular basis. Uh, being healthy in that state of mind also bleeds over into your family life, yes. your work life, uh, uh, your, your, your personal life with family and friends. It's going to give you that extra edge. It's going to keep you ahead of the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, my daughter actually was the one that came up with that because she always told, I always tell everybody, we want to keep you one step ahead of the doctors. Mm -hmm. We want to keep you one step ahead of the pharmacies and everything like that. Now, God put them down here for us to help us, but at the same time, he didn't want us to go and just be there just because. You That's know? right. Uh, you want to keep yourself as healthy and as happy as possible. It bleeds over into family life, spiritual life, most importantly, in my opinion. But when you have um, that blockage, so to speak, because you're not happy or you're not with yourself, you've seen people all the time that uh, they want to do this and they want to do that, but because of physical setbacks, uh, they can't get out there and play with their children. They mm -hmm. can't go to certain functions because they don't feel comfortable in their clothes or Definitely. in their skin or who they are. Uh, a lot of our suicides in, in, in young people and adults stem from them not being happy with what they see in the mirror. Yeah. Um, God has given us an opportunity to make those changes. That's, That's the right. one thing about our bodies, no matter how far along technically advanced we get, they cannot duplicate what God gave us, which is our human body. Wonderful. Uh, you have the power to change your body, to change your life. Uh, make sure you're taking the time for yourself. Stay in prayer. Stay listening to God, and he will definitely let you know he wants you healthy. He wants you happy. That's right. So make sure you take that time with yourself. Uh, you have... Tammy here, who's available for spiritual guidance, and I tell you, she is probably you are probably one of the <laughs> biggest blessings that I've seen in a while. Amen. Uh, and again, I feel so honored and pleased. Anyone that I could help in any way, fashion, or form, don't let uh, uh, your time, money, or, or anything, don't let an excuse be the reason that you don't get in contact with me or her. Uh, we're here for you. We love you. We definitely want you in good health and Amen. happy. Give them your contact number real fast because we're um, almost out of time. Okay. My, my contact number again, my cell phone is 662-518-1327. That's 662-518-1327. I'm on Facebook under Big Dog Personal Training. And you can also email me at Big Dog PT. Dog is spelled D-A-W-G. That's BigDogPT at gmail.com. Wonderful. Listen, Mississippi is number one in obesity in adults and in children. You know what? He's, he's here, right here in the area. If you're in North Mississippi and Alabama, we'll come to you. You yes. know, free consultations. Yes. There's boot camps that are available for you. Not only that, there are clinics, sport clinics for children, yes. our kids. You know, we have to take back what the enemy is trying to steal from us. I'm excited. Thank you so much for joining us on Woman to Woman with Tammy Tubbs. I know you all have been informed, you have been enlightened, and you have definitely been empowered. Don't stop. Keep moving. Even on this morning, get connected. Go to church. Be blessed. I love you, and we'll see you soon next Sunday morning Amen. at 7 a.m. Love you all. God bless. Amen. I'm my destiny. Gotta do, gotta be what God wants me.